Oh, hi everybody here, here back here with another video. Um, so I got this uh, last month's BAME box in the mail. Um, it just came in yesterday. Um, didn't get to unbox it yesterday because I was super busy studying for my test today. It was the second test for my CNC class. We have like three weeks left. So things are going to be awesome. Um, I'm loving it and I'm really hoping things go well. Um, I do have a couple pieces I can show you. So these are my two really good ones. So I have a pawn that I did on the lathe. And then this is a bishop, I believe. I am not good at chess, so I do not know. So there's the bishop and then the pawn. So these are my two good ones. Uh, I almost had a good one today of one of these, um, but unfortunately I messed up on one of the uh, cuts and uh, probably added instead of subtracted where I was supposed to. So it cut off um, way too far. So it's a bad part. Uh, the bad parts I'm probably gonna keep. I've been keeping all of the parts that aren't perfect um, just cause I'm gonna use them for like art projects and more like that, who knows? But uh, I'm gonna have two other ones. They're not perfect, but they're still pretty cool. This one's actually the first one I did um, with Charlie, one of my classmates. So me and him worked on this one together. Uh, we had a bad tool, so it did this uh, to the last cut. So that's not perfect because of that. Probably would've been perfect if we had a good tool. Uh, and this one, uh, it's just too thin. Um, so I messed up calculations and let me run too thin on them. So um, it's definitely been a learning game of everything, but I'm getting the hang of it now. Um, definitely uh, wish I had a little bit more time on the machines, but we got to give uh, one lucky with for what we got. So most people do not get a chance to work on CNC machines like we are doing for this class. So I'm excited about this. Um, so, I have this month's, or last month's band box. It's April's band box. It's May now. It's the 11th of May. So, once again, it did ship a little bit late because uh, of the move, but they should be back to normal soon. But I'm excited for what's in here. So, we have the box. We open it up and take out the black piece of paper. Nothing in it this time. And I see a really cool thing here. Looks like something from like Jeepers Creepers, something like that. I think it's from Jeepers Creepers. I think that was one of the, uh... God damn it, would you stop calling me? I keep getting phone calls um, and I keep blocking phone calls from uh, these people trying to talk about my student loans and I'm already covered so I keep calling them told them to get get me off my their mailing list uh, and they keep calling me so part of the news about calls like that and that they're I guess something's going on and they're trying to see so we got this prop replica with a tooth in it and some metal so looks like these are probably like teeth or something so it's like a throwing star kind of thing that looks pretty cool so it looks, I'm not entirely certain, but it looks like something. I think Jeeper Creepers was uh, one of the things in here, so if that's what that's from, then probably that. I got a one-up card, so I'm excited about that. Don't know what that item is, but we'll see. Uh, so Bampor Slim Edition Enamel Pen, only 250 made. And this is Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. Designed and created by Create or Destroy. So, and the pins are numbered on the back, which is nice. Because I usually get rid of the paper stuff if they're numbered on the back, which makes it easier. I still need to make my pin board. Uh, I plan on making one that looks like a coffin. Um, but I have not made that yet. I'm still cleaning um, and organizing stuff. I'm getting rid of a ton of stuff. Um, mainly some of my um, more, like all my, like all my Funko Pops and stuff like that, pretty much most of them are going, to be going bye-bye, so I'm gonna try to find homes for them. Um, 
Oh, so just because I stopped collecting them, um, uh, they're taking up a lot of space, and I'd rather them go to a home where people do enjoy them. Um, so I kind of lost interest in them pretty quickly. I mainly got them from the subscription boxes. We have a milk carton. I'm pretty certain this is from the Lost Boys. That's pretty cool. That's pretty interesting. I might be putting together a milk carton. So I'll probably keep it like this for now because I don't think I have room for to actually put it together as a milk carton. But that's pretty cool. I've actually uh, cut these um, on machines before. So um, not, well, actually not a milk carton. It was other packaging. But I have cut packaging like this. Um, on machines before in my days as with imprint production and stuff like that for design. Then we have two prints so that means I did not get the I think it was like a signed weapon you could have gotten which would have been super cool. I think it was like a hatchet or something because that would have been freaking awesome. I would I would have loved to have gotten I thought I was getting the, uh, the weapon last time because I had an item that Went back to the um, back to my post office because it needed an adult signature. Uh, turned out to just be something from Mighty Jets, which never needed a signature before. So don't know about that. I was I was really hoping it was that, but it wasn't. Um, so we have the two prints filmed by Adam Green, Victor Crowley. I don't think I've ever seen this one. So, I'm actually, all the other kind of super badass. I think it's going to be one of three, so like this set. And yes, this month I did not get the classic, so I did not get the second photo for that other, the Marvel thing, which I really don't care for. Um, it's probably going to a friend who really likes Marvel. Um, or I might keep it, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not super intrigued. That's pretty cool. It looks like a, a movie poster. So it has the signature right there. Kind of interesting placement for the signature. Like right on the stomach. There we go. So we got that. So. And it is hand signed by Adam Green. Who wrote and directed the Hatchet and Victor Crowley movies? So I think I saw the Hatchet. I believe that Ren Ruiz is the name of that. So, but I know I haven't seen this one. Um, I see so many movies sometimes that I forget what I saw and I'm horrible with names and stuff. Then we got this awesome, awesomeness. Who's this from? This is Legends, and yeah, one of three, and has been hand signed by artist Ken Kisser. So that's uh, super cool. It has all the really cool deck. So let's see what we have in here. Oh, I saw critters. I still want to get a uh, a plush critter to go with Gizmo. So we have Critters, we have Jason, we have Leatherface, Chucky, uh, we have the Candyman, it looks like, and the Xenomorph. So that is really cool. That is awesome. I love like, all the Critters in here, it's funny. So that is awesome. I love that. I still need to get a whole bunch of frames for these and attempt to see if I can do a ceiling thing. But I don't know if I can do the frames or if I need to use the metal package and stick them up, tech them up. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try and figure something out. So I think it'd be cool to have like my ceiling in my other room just covered with artwork. So we have Bandbox Adam Green Hatchet signing. We are excited to announce a private setting with horror director and all-around badass Adam Green, perhaps best known for his hatchet films. There will be an 8x10 hatchet movie poster and a Victor Crowley, also Victor Crowley. Look out for the insert that says you got upgraded. That means 
you are one of the you have one of the hatchets signed by Adam being sent to you. So that would have been freaking awesome to get a hatchet. Missing Laddie Thompson, curtain milk. Or her carnation milk milk curtain prop replica. That was a mouthful right there. This is the exact replica of a prop seen in the Lost Boys movie. It is created from the correct milk curtain seen in the movie. Build it and display it. Don't cry, little sister, over spilt milk. I actually used to have uh, Cry Little Sister as the ringtone for my sister and my phone. And I really need to remake that, that ringtone. I, re I made like all the ringtones through the tunes. And I need to remake them because when I got my new phone and I upgraded iTunes, it deleted everything off of my iTunes. So I lost every song on my phone, iTunes, and on my iTunes on my computer. And all my backups for those songs are on the hard drive that is currently dead and I need to pay to see if I can get stuff retrieved off of it. So yeah, I was not happy about that. <laughs> all my songs are gone. All I have is uh, whatever iTunes gave us last time. Like the few horror songs I used in my YouTube videos. So, so fun. Bandbox Exclusive Legends, fan art collection, art print. Virus Ken Kessler, number one of three. We have been excited about this partnership with Band Horror. For a while, when we first started talking to Ken about what he was going to do, we knew it was going to become an instant classic. Collect all three, make the entire print. There are no variants with these prints. Jeepers Creepers Shuriken Prop Replica by Dark Matters Props. So yes, it is from Jeepers Creepers. So, there we go. Every third spring, for 23 days, it gets to eat. Replica, a replica of the shuriken from Jupiter Creepers. This should be a great piece in any collection. So it's super cool. Fan box exclusive Season of the Witch fan art pins. I love all these pins. I want to get all of them. That's awesome. So these pins will melt your face off. Collect all three of them for the full effect. So I'd love to collect all three. So I got the limited edition of 250. So that's probably where my um, one up card came. And then there's also the limited edition 99, which is the witch, and then a pumpkin. So there we go. Super cool. And then it says down here, giveaway. When a Daniel Harris signed, hand signed, lessons Halloween prop with a replica knife. <clears throat> it's nice. I need a drink. Got my tea. The bottom of this looks so bad. When you let tea sit and it just forms a film on the bottom. So gross. But uh, yeah, that was super cool. I love that. Every item in there. So awesome. Oh, I also kind of wanted to show off. Um, finally got them in the post. Uh, I actually had more of these. I originally bought these because uh, I have a job for, for my CNC class. We're all gone. So I made up business cards. And these, they sent my business cards to my freelance employer so not certain if I'm gonna get those in time so luckily they were awesome and sent out replacements so I will show you the design of different I went simple for these um, just because they just have my information they're not like my business ones that are super fancy so there we go so they look pretty cool there we go. I like how they came out. Awesome. Also helps when you give them good vector art. And I went for help. So there we go. So it's supposed to say Jai, first part of my name, uh, in the caliper A. Oh, I can't remember the name of that thing in a pencil. So it doesn't quite look like it looks more like a B than a J, but that's okay. Yeah, thanks for super crazy um so today was really really stressful um i've been a lot of a lot of pain um pretty much all week with my fargo um and just not feeling good i've been like sick with something so i don't know what's going on but i've been having stomach issues um so that's definitely not been fun so that triggered my fibro so of course today like right before the test i'm like my pain was getting like up there so i'm like so I took my pain meds and luckily it kicked in just in time for the test and then started 
uh, right after I finished and luckily passed. So worried I wasn't going to pass. I was freaking out because um, there's a lot of stuff to cover um, in a short amount of time for this really uh, tough test. So I, when I left Charlie, um, oh God, I can't remember his name. Charlie and a couple other of my fellow classmates, uh, Virginia, Charlie, and uh, I can't remember the other. I'm horrible. They have names. I really am. Everyone had their name tags, and we used to like keep them out. And I'm the only one that puts it out, and I'm like, I don't remember people's names now. I've known a few people because they have names that are like the same as like other friends I have, or like super easy. But yeah, like Virginia, I remember because of uh, Come Out Virginia. I remember them because of a, a song. It's usually how I remember names, just because the songs are because of be the same name as my mom, be the same name as my cousin the same name as so-and-so cool oh remember your name not yeah nope it's been horrible but uh yeah so they were still there taking the test um so i everyone else had already left um so i left and there were they the three of them were still taking the test so i hope i hope they passed i know virginia and the other guys uh they did they didn't pass the first attempt at the first test they passed it the second time, so we get two tries, so uh, hopefully this time they don't have to do it a second time. I'm rooting for them. Uh, they're doing a great job. Guys, everybody in my class right now um, is super awesome, so I'm hoping we all do amazing, we all get jobs, we all succeed in life. Um, and hoping all of you that are out there in the world that are watching this, if you stumble upon it, that uh, whatever you are trying to do, um, whatever life is throwing at you, good or bad, that you uh, take it and you flip it. If it's bad, if it's good, you run with it and you make it work and that you succeed because I want people to succeed and I want to succeed myself. So I want things to change and be good. I really am hoping this year will be good. Uh, last year was not the best year for me. Um, so definitely hoping this year will be good, but um, I did have a sad thing happen um, shortly before the test. Um, about I think it's been two days now. Um, I lost my snake Salazar. Um, I don't know if I've shown him in videos at all, but I do have a video on my Instagram that I posted before of him. But uh, I had him for. I've had him for at least, I think I had him for at least like 10, 15 years. I've had him, he, he I have, we've had him since he was a baby. Um, and uh, it was really sad to, to come home and find him deceased. Um, so I'm currently um, cleaning his bones um, so I can hopefully make a memorial piece with him. Um, if any of you guys wanna see it, I'm probably gonna show it once I'm done with it um, either on my Instagram or I might show it on video if you guys want to see it. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping I can make something beautiful um, as a memorial to him because um, he was an awesome snake and I loved him. But I do want to show off a new little buddy that I got. My dad was awesome um, and when uh, I, we, I told my family that uh, I lost Sal, um, my dad me aside and uh, said do you want a new snake and I was like yes I do I'd love to get a new one so I he got me a king um, so I'm excited so I don't have a name for him yet I'm thinking of a name so I will shoot that name out and if you like it let me know in the comments if you like the name um, and I will probably keep the name I'm thinking of it so let me grab him and I will show him to you okay so I'm back with him so this is my new king um, so I'm thinking of naming him Pashoko, uh, which means brown in Japanese, because he is this beautiful um, dark brown color. My dad apparently thought he was black, but he's not black. He is quite brown, um, especially with my eyes. Um, my color vision is very, very good, so I can see that he is brown. He's a dark brown, so he's like my hair, where it uh, does look black a lot of the times. But so he is absolutely beautiful. He, he's 
I'm tiny right now. Um, but it's going to get me a new tape for him. Um, just because the one I have right now is vertical. Um, and he needs one that's horizontal. Just because of the type of snake he is. So there he is. There he is. He's super pretty. So it's been a comfort having him, um, especially so quickly after losing Sal. Um, he will never replace Sal in my heart, but um, he's definitely been a comfort to have. Um, it's been nice not having an empty cage. Um, Cause that's, that would be a major reminder. Um, so he's been super sweet. So, let me know if you like the name. I think I should just name him Brown in Japanese. So I think it sounds nice. And it fits him because he's this nice brown color. So I'll put him back in his cage. Go back in, buddy. So, so far he's liking it. Um, I love that he's... I love kings because they're, um, they're super uh, sweet snakes. Um, they're really great. To handle so and he's really awesome to handle like he's super great so I love it I love it when he gets a little bit bigger and I can actually um, hand him a little bit bit easier just because I'll have more snake to work with but um for right now he's still cute and awesome so that is it for this video thank you for watching and as always peace out have an awesome day